by the U.S. government. for this year? Um, our expectations for this year are to win a sectional championship and then go on and win a state championship. Uh, to make a run for the state championship. Definitely to win sectionals and then make a run for states. You know, our expectations are same as always. We're hoping to win a sectional championship and then move on farther all the way to a state championship. Uh, yeah, you know, I think last year was probably the, the season panned out probably a lot like we thought. It was going to take us a while to kind of come together with three new coaches and a different approach to just about everything that we did, um, whether it was a little thing like how we act in the locker room to what offense we put in. I mean, everything changed. So it's going to take us a while to kind of figure that part of it out, and it's exactly how the season went. You know, we had some tough one-goal losses in the beginning, and I thought we started to play better at the end, and I think we played our best ball during sectionals and last year was great for us because we um, again although we fell a little short of our of our goal um, winning a state or winning a section championship and moving on to, at the, to the state level um, you know we reached the section finals uh, and we lost by two goals to West Tennessee um, well within our grasp you know we played far from a perfect game um, but yes I think that that experience is absolutely going to help us this year you know for the kids that return to this year's team I think it was just about like taking what we did last year and moving forward with it and I think that transition has been much easier this time around um, just from the way we practice the speed that we practice the intensity that we practiced so that's not new anymore for, for those guys so now we have built-in leadership that can show the young guys how to do it and uh, you know looking forward to this season
you know, for guys with their first year on varsity, it's a, it's a big jump. It's a big jump of the speed of play, uh, the expectation of how fast guys have to play, um, the expectation of how hard we're going to work in practice. Um, we they it's a it's a big jump from what they've been used to, whether it's freshman or whether JV. Um, the the six days a week practice and a, a full commitment of of going as hard as they can uh, for the two hour spot in practice. Um, well, for sure, new faces playing with the older guys. Um, some new faces that we haven't played with before. Uh, we had a tough time in the gym. We were in the gym a lot before we got to go out and play on the full field, which made it tough, close quarters, but we all worked hard, got through it, and when we got to the field, it was rewarding. Coming into varsity, uh, there's a lot different atmosphere. The practices are a lot more focused and intense, and we're all focused, ready to do our best for the team. Uh, the Bethlehem game was one of our first games, it was a good test for us. Um, they, had, they were someone we'd never seen before, and we got to go out and test our skills, see how we've been, all of our plays, our offense, our defense, how they're gonna play this season. It was a good test for us at the beginning of the year. Final score this afternoon, Faith Lomalius 15 and Bethlehem 8. So could you talk about your relationship, a little bit about your relationship with Coach Madden, like having him for four years and like what that's like? Yeah, so I've had him since freshman year. I was on JV with him two years. Um, so I've kind of experienced his carryover from a JV coach to a varsity coach. And he kind of always had varsity coach mentality because he's a tough guy and he, he likes the grit. Um, not only has he instilled the mindset of just always working hard, he's also taught me a lot more about just being a, a better person than lacrosse player. He, uh, he stills, instills a bunch of different life lessons in everyday practice and is always pushing us to do our best in practice. Yeah, we have four elected team captains this year, um, elected by the coaches and by the players. We take a vote on, on who we elect as team captains. Um, and the, the team did a wonderful job electing uh, Zach Nestor, uh, Jack Shanley, Sam Stratton, and Luke Miranda um, as our team captains. So the nice thing about those four team captains, they we have each position covered with the exception of goalie. Sam Stratton's a close defender. Luke Miranda's a long stick midi. Zach Nestor is a midi. And then Jack Shanley's an attackman. So we have kind of the, the positions all represented. Um, and they're, they're great team captains so far. They take the sport really, really seriously. Um, they're all want, expecting to go on and play in college. So they're all planning on They've already kind of committed to colleges already for, you know, to go on and play lacrosse in college. So um, the sport is important to them. Um, and so, so far their personalities, um, all four of them have tremendous work ethics. They, they are the hardest working guys in practice. Um, so that's nice when our, you know, our top players are also our hardest working players. We try to model that to the younger guys. I think the game, the game was on a Tuesday. The Bevo game was on a Tuesday. Um, that Saturday before and the Monday before were hard practices, uh, a lot of working on our stick skills and just prepping for the game. Like their de we played against their style of defense. Our offense played like their offense for our defense. Um, it was just a lot of a lot of working. Like more than say we're getting ready for like CNS or something. We don't take any teams lightly, but Bevo is one of the bigger games. Brother, sister, can you hear that? Our heartbeat cut into the ether. Star drifters, can you feel that? One love can make us all believers. A generation of renegades, we don't have to stay alone. So brother, sister, can you see our light guide us home? Oh! <laughs>
together making memories and motion with the traces of the chosen let's come together with a heart wide open a generation of renegades we don't have to stay alone so brother sister find your spaceship and let it After we won against Baldwinsville, uh, when Mikey Howe scored the goal, um, it, we gained a lot of confidence in going against West Tennessee, and we thought we could beat them pretty good. And when we went to West Tennessee, that's what we did, and we won. I just knew I had a good matchup. Coach gave me the ball; just everyone cleared out. I knew it was I could score, and it kind of made us feel good throughout the rest of the week. We had a boost in morale. We could go into West Jenny game thinking we could beat anyone, so. That week was probably one of the most tiring weeks physically and mentally when it comes to lacrosse. 
because we started off the week with Bevo, then we had Jenny, and then we had Bevo again. And I don't think beating Bevo and OT in the beginning of the week kind of gave us like fat heads, but I think you know we loved it and it helped us beat Jenny. But then we weren't ready to keep going with that same energy. Um, we just never got off the bus that Saturday. So it's kind of hard to find our energy as a whole team. So that second Beville game, I feel like just everything that could go wrong did go wrong all at the same time uh, in the same game. Um, if you look back at that game, it wasn't any one aspect of the game that we struggled with. We kind of did, you know, we, we had some mistakes, but not a ton at each aspect of the game, whether it was clears, rides, um, when and how to slide, what kind of angles to take. Um, sort of, you know, some, some shots went in that, that wouldn't typically go in. So I think uh, Beeville was probably had one of the best games of their season, um, and, and we didn't. <laughs> well, that week was definitely one of our, our most important weeks. We really need to come out with at least two wins out of three, and we did that. It would have been nice to beat Beeville the second time that week, but unfortunately they got the best of us uh, on set early Saturday, but it was still a huge win for us to beat him the first time and to beat Jenny the second time. It kind of asserted our dominance in the league and showed we were going to be one of the best teams in the league this year.
Yeah, Pittsford has a reputation of of a good team, you know, like Victor. They're from Rochester, Section 5. And, uh, you know, coming into that game, we knew it was going to be close and it was going to be a battle. And it was just who outworked the other team. And we came out with the win. Um, Pittsford, we prepared all week for that. We knew that was going to be a battle. And it was. Uh, it was back and forth game. It was Pittsford had a couple here and there, and then we had a couple there. It was just a game of, game of runs. Um, you know, our defense played great. Our goalies played amazing. Yeah, so knowing that uh, this year we dropped down to Class B, we knew we'd probably see Auburn in the finals again. So regular season, we had to take them seriously. We knew after that game what we were going to probably see in the sectional finals. Um, first couple of minutes, we went up big. We came out firing, ready to go. And then the second half, we kind of took our uh, foot off the pedal and they kind of came back a little bit. So that gave us a scare, but it showed us a good lesson that they're always going to be in the hunt and that we have to take them seriously if we want to win a sexual championship. Um, you know, it was like a free scout game, kind of. Like we got to get used to them, see how they play. And then on these past practices, we've been preparing for it and just getting ready for the championship game. That was huge because I feel like that hasn't been done in a long time um, and it doesn't feel like the competition was as good as it has been in the past but it's still kind of a crazy thing to do thinking about because West Jenny's been like 
a crazy good school to play lacrosse at and it's kind of a legacy to be good at lacrosse there. Um, so it's kind of cool to be able to sweep them. Victor game was kind of embarrassing, a little disappointing. Uh, they obviously had those two good attackmen, hard to stop, but uh, our offense just didn't get going. We didn't, couldn't get the ball on the offense end, and uh, yeah, that's what yeah, the that's big cool. problem was. So obviously with the Victor game, I think we struggled with those two attackmen, um, their size and athleticism and their two-man game behind the goal. Uh, we tried to adjust on the fly. It was, an, it was early, it feels like it was pretty early in the season. Um, so we were still practicing, you know, how to handle picks and different ways to play it. I think we thought we were a lot more prepared than we were. Um, watching film and talking about what we needed to do on offense, what we needed to do on defense. I think we felt ready, but playing them in the past, the past couple of years, played against those, some of those same kids that had a lot of points against us and locked us down on defense. Um, it's kind of tough because we felt like we were ready, but we really weren't. And I kind of wish we had that game back because I think if we changed some things, it would have been a different outcome. So Coach Matt at the beginning of the year knew we were going to be in B, but played the league schedule in A. So he was pumped that we got to play against those teams because those are, those are the best teams in the section. Like Those are the guys you want to play against. So his mindset before the CNS game was we can do something that nobody expected which was win a League A championship in Class B. So when we had the opportunity to do that and win it to ourselves on, on that CNS day, he, he knew we had to and he knew he had to get us in our mindset to do it. So the CNS game was huge for him. I know he has a friend on CNS that he loves to beat and I think for him this, that game was so much more than just a regular game and for all of us it should have been the same. That was the first time we've won a league championship in a while. So, Going into that game, I feel a lot of guys were not looking at it how we should have been. We were kind of looking past them. But CNS is a, is a good team. We had, to, we had to come prepared. We couldn't come out slow because um, that would have hurt us. But Coach Madden prepared us as well as he could. We all came in firing. Um, it was a good team win. Uh, it's good to have Coach Madden get his first league, league title, and it gave the guys a lot of energy going into sectionals. Um, and then there's rivalries with like JD, we have JD Day, and that was kind of, it's always a good game with them. Um, I think this year we kind of lost that one a little bit for ourselves in the second half. Uh, I think we could have beat them, but it's always good to play those guys.
knowing that we were getting put in class B, we assumed that people would look at us a little bit differently as a team and, and sort of you know, think that we weren't up to the challenge. And so I think that first goal of getting the league championship was really our number one priority. Um, trying to win as many games as we could and trying to just look at each of those rivalries, whether it's West Jenny or Beeville or, or whoever, and just doing the best we could. What happened at Fulton? Oh, boy. Um, you know, we came into that game knowing that it's about us. You know, we didn't really focus on them. Uh, it was a day for us to get better and, uh, you know, work towards that sectional championship and on our state's run. We knew we had to play Fulton Tuesday. I have two friends on Fulton, and they texted me, don't, don't kill us. So in my head, I was kind of like, all right, we'll be fine Tuesday. We just got to keep our heads in the game, not get too ahead of ourselves, and make sure we just play our game, which we did. We won 16-2. I've been dressing off the mess you made I've been feeling kind of restless I've been trying not to walk away Then my knees start to buckle I've been standing here for far too long Shiver running up my spine Tell me what's right, what's wrong I waited for you to be strong enough So I wasn't the only one holding this up about a scoreboard right now all right we're caring about us and we're caring about our goal of winning a sectional and winning the state championship everybody got that so we have to get better right now let's look sharp let's play fast let's clear their head up let's get after the ground balls okay here we go Last year coming up short against West Jenny in the section finals was frustrating for last year's senior class and for us juniors last year, but now it gives us seniors just the mindset that we need to, we need to go out with a section championship and it motivates us every day in practice to work hard and, and know that we've got to obtain that goal. Um, so it was right after the game, we had just, well, we'd watched the Oswego game before, watched Oswego make a run or two watched Auburn come back and Auburn's got some guys so this tomorrow we're gonna have to play our game but if we play them like we did last time I think we should be fine and there's no there's no scariness or nervousness going to these games it's just excited because we have a chance to done, do something that hasn't been done in several years Work it, make it, do it, make sense
you're going against that long pole, we're going to get a slash call, so stay in it, okay? Remember, we protect the paint. We're not waiting to see are, are we beat or not. Come on, don't piss the ball in. It was a great feeling winning the fifth sectional championship for FM. We knew coming into the game that we could beat them. We beat them once before, but that they've gotten a lot better. But we just had to play our game, and we played our game and ended up beating them. All that I want in this life is the chance to do my thing. Um, I thought we had a pretty good season. We accomplished two out of our three goals, which was winning the section championship and winning a league championship. Um, our overall record was 15-4, and four, and I think we had a great season. Yeah, I mean, I think it could have gone better, but I think it did go according as planned for the most part. Uh, we get to add to that banner in the gym, which is pretty awesome to do for any team. So. All right, and then anything you guys want to say to the underclassmen that are still here? Um, just advice to the underclassmen is pick right off where we left off and, and bring home that state championship. Yeah, work hard in the offseason, boys, and stay close together. I want the top. All my people right there in the back of the spot, I need the top. If you know me, you don't know me to stop, I need the top. All my people there in the back of the spot, let them be shot. Yeah. And you don't just wake up rich one day This kind of life never just slip your way I gave up taking care free trips to the bay Cali bound is cause I got a flip in LA Paris bound cause the new videos on the way No breaks for me, no vacates for me I advance every minute boy I live it Why start shit you don't finish I want the top All my people right there in the back of the spot I need the top if you know me, you don't know me to stop, I need the top All my people there in back of the spot, let them be shot Yeah Drinks on chill, got drinks on chill Lights get dim and I think I will I work so hard that I think I will Yeah, had a long week, bitch, how you think I feel? History favors the ball, dog Roll something, make sure my story gets told Make sure our story gets told The night's forever young, it's us that get old oh, oh, oh.